Hello everyone. We will continue the topic enhancements and modifications. And in the previous video, we started with the implementation of a user exit. We took one requirement and based upon the requirement, we identified that we will implement this user exit. We will write the logic into this particular user exit. And what was our requirement? That we cannot create a sales order if the order quantity of a particular material is less than 100. This is our requirement. Now, before we start with the implementation or logic part, into this particular user exit. Firstly, we will dig down. Then I will come on to the implementation or the logic part. So in the previous video, we created this particular sales order 22133. This is the header data of the sales order. We put sold to party. So this is header data of the sales order. This is the item data of the sales order. Header data, item data of the sales order. We all know that header data of the sales order is getting stored into VBAK table and the item data of the sales order is getting stored into VBAP table whenever we are creating a sales order. Suppose if I will show you VBAK table, I will go to SC11 transaction code. If I will go to VBAK table, I will go to the contents of the table. If I will put the same to same sales order here, 22133. If I will execute, you can see we have the header data of the sales order. This is my login ID. I created this sales order. If I will scroll down, you can simply, simply see this is the sold to party we put. So header data of the sales order stored into VBAK table. Now, if I will show you VBAP table, it has the item data of the sales order. If I will go to VBAP, if I will go to contents, I will put the same to same sales order here also. 22133. If I will execute, you can see we have two line items in the sales order. We have two line items in the sales order. Material 1, material 2. Material 1, material 2. The order quantity is 80 and 90. Okay, I cannot see all the columns together. So I will show you the quantity also. So I'll go to back button. Settings, formal list, choose fields. Because you cannot see the data of all columns together. So you can choose the selected columns also. Suppose I will deselect. I will show you the data of sales document, item number, material, and we will search the quantity also. Order quantity. Order quantity. Yes, the column name is KWMENG. I will go for apply. You can see we are able to see the data of those four columns only. Is this the same to same thing we passed? Yes, same to same thing we passed. So header data is getting stored into VBAK table and item data is getting stored into VBAP table. Why we are discussing this? Because to write the logic, we should be aware about all. We should be aware or we should know about all these things. Now, what I will do? I will simply, simply put a breakpoint into this particular user exit, into this particular user exit. Firstly, we will see everything in the debugging mode 
and then we will write the logic and it's always always a best practice you should firstly understand in that debugging mode and based upon that if you will write the logic logic it's very very easy to write the logic suppose i will go to va01 and i will create a sales order we will go for creation of a sales order i am putting some order type i will put some sold to party suppose i will give some material i will put some order quantity now i will go for sale i'll just confirm the quantity now i will go for sale before save we have this particular user exit so before saving a document this particular user exit will call and i already put a breakpoint so the program will automatically stop there i will go for save i will go to desktop 3 and you can see program automatically stopped there now extremely extremely important concept and these concepts will not only help in this requirement if you are working on other requirements also so this concept will definitely help you extremely important concept now we have two important things x x means it is new data y means it is old data whenever you have x it means it is new data whenever you have y it means it is old data along with this we have one update indicator if the value of update indicator is i it means we are going for insert if the value of update indicator is u it means we are going for change if the value of update indicator is d it means we are going for delete now what is the meaning of all these things now i will show you in debugging and you will get more more clarity suppose i am writing x v b a k but is x v b a k it has the new header data of the sales order y v b a k it has the old header data of the sales order x v b a p it has the new item data of the sales order what is y v b a p it has the old item data of the sales order just took one scenario as of now we are creating sales order whenever we are creating a new sales order is there any sense of the old data no sense of the old data at all so whenever you are creating a new sales order all y will be blank if i will show you y v b a k completely blank if i will show you y v b a p completely blank because there is no sense of old data whenever you are creating a new sales order now if i will show you x v b a k just see this is the same to same thing which we passed this is my user id i am creating this sales order if i will show you sold to party you can see we have sold to party 1175 so this is the header data of the sales order as of now this is new header data of the sales order because there is no concept of old whenever you are creating a new sales order if i will show you the item data x v b a p you can see we have the two items we put this material number line item number 1020 line item number 1020 you can clearly see line item number 1020 line item number 1020 and what the quantity we put 100 or 200 if i will go to the right i will go to the right 
you can see k w m e n g order quantity column but is the value 100 and 200 so whatever we are doing is extremely important to understand in the debugging mode now i will come on to update indicator update indicator now we will see what is the value of update indicator in this case now we cannot see each and every column together so what you can do you can simply click on to columns just search for the column updkz it is update indicator you can see now updkz is came at the first position you can simply save these settings so that you can see the value have you seen updkz column came at the first position yes now, what is the value of update indicator now? I, I means insert. Are we going for insert? Yes, we are creating a new sales order. An extremely, extremely important understanding. So whenever you are creating a sales order, always, always remember that old is blank at that point of time. And whatever the records we are inserting, whatever the item records we are inserting, update indicator is I at that point of time, I means insert. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we discussed the most, most important thing. We put the breakpoint into the user exit, in which user exit we want to write the logic. And we discussed that X stands for new, Y stands for old. Whenever we are creating a new sales order, yes, X has the new data, old is blank at that point of time. And the value of update indicator is I. In the next video, we will do VA02, means we will change the sales order and we will see how the values of x and y so just time being i will just execute and create this sales order so this sales order got created in the next video we will change the sales order and see how the values will be and then we will proceed with the logic part so that's it in this video thank you